Section two of Sabotage. This is a LibraVox recording. All LibraVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibraVox.org. Sabotage by Elizabeth Gurleyflin. General forms of sabotage. Sabotage was adopted by the General Federation of Labor of France in 1897 as a recognized weapon in their method of conducting fights on their employers. But sabotage as an instinctive defense existed long before it was ever officially recognized by any labor organization. Sabotage means primarily the withdrawal of efficiency. Sabotage means either to slacken up and interfere with the quantity, or to botch in your skill and interfere with the quality of capitalist production, or to give poor service. Sabotage is not physical violence. Sabotage is an internal, industrial process. It is something that is fought out within the four walls of a shop. And these three forms of sabotage, to affect the quality, the quantity, and the service, are aimed at affecting the profit of the employer. Sabotage is a means of striking at the employer's profit for the purpose of forcing him into granting certain conditions, even as working men strike for the same purpose of coercing him. It is simply another form of coercion. There are many forms of interfering with efficiency, interfering with quality, and the quantity of production. From varying motives, there is the employer's sabotage, as well as the worker's sabotage. Employers interfere with the quality of production. They interfere with the quantity of production. They interfere with the supply as well as with the kind of goods for the purpose of increasing their profit. But this form of sabotage, capitalist sabotage, is antisocial for the reason that it is aimed at the good of the few, at the expense of the many. Whereas working class sabotage is distinctly social, it is aimed at the benefit of the many, at the expense of the few. Working class sabotage is aimed directly at the boss and at his profits in the belief that that is the solar plexus of the employer, that is his heart, his religion, his sentiment, his patriotism. Everything is centered in his pocketbook, and if you strike, that you are striking at the most vulnerable point in his entire moral and economic system. End of general forms of sabotage.